So we now have the ability of actually enabling our battery percentage on iPhones even with notches. So if you want to see your battery percentage without having to swipe down from the top right corner and looking at it here, well this is basically how to do it. But keep in mind, you have to be on iOS 16 to do this. As of right now, iOS 16 is not officially out, but it should be out in the next few months. So if you're watching this when iOS 16 is out, just go ahead and install it. Now, every single notched iPhone can do this. So once you get the iOS 16 update, go ahead and install it and you should be good to go. So once you're on iOS 16, all you have to do is make your way over to your iPhone settings and you'll come into a panel that looks like this. Now, all you have to do here is basically scroll down until you see this battery icon. So you see battery right down here. All you want to do is go and click on battery and you'll see at the very top, you'll see a battery percentage icon. All you have to do here, it's very easy, enable your battery percentage icon and you will basically see, if I go and zoom in, you will basically see your battery percentage right there. So that is it. Now you can also swipe down and still see your battery percentage there. Now, as I said in other videos, this is a little conflicting because as of right now, it may get fixed in the future. You can see that it doesn't show you the actual battery you know, percentage you have. It shows you the battery percentage in a number, but behind it, it just shows you that you have a full battery. So it does take a little bit of time getting used to. As you can see, I'm at like 40 whatever percent, you know, less than battery. If I enable it, it tells me that I do have 40 something percent, but it gives me the full battery icon. I kind of wish it wasn't like that, but again, I guess it makes it so the text is always, you know, visible or whatever, but that's pretty much how to do it. A very, very cool thing, and I'm glad Apple pushed it in. So remember, you have to be on iOS 16 to do this, but that's pretty much the process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.